together. done him wrong, the Lord saw fit to give Joseph a heart to bless him as well. That's, 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 that's the kind of God we serve. Amen. 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 And I say it to let you know that all that we're enduring now, mm -hmm. during this pandemic time, systemic racism of all sorts in all areas and venues, God said, if you trust in me, trust me. if you wait on me, wait on me. don't faint and fit, I declare I'll make it all right. So we come this morning to lift up the name of Jesus, yes, to worship him in yeah. spirit and in truth. Amen. 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 Let's have church this morning. All right. Amen. Our agenda for this morning, our scripture will be coming from Isaiah, the 40th chapter, verses 28 to 31. Should be read by our own Deacon Irby. 
Our devotional prayer will be rendered this morning by Deacon Hawkins. Our devotional song for the deacons will be, He's been good to me. Good to me. Yes. Amen. All the prayer will be rendered by Deacon Figures. We will have a church anniversary announcement by Deacon Irby and our offertory prayer by Deacon Ricks. Amen. 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 Let's have church. Let's live up the Lord this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Let them up. Let them up. Let them up. Right. I love the Lord. He's been good to me. Yeah. Scripture reading this morning will come from the book of Isaiah, the 40th chapter, and we're going to start at the 28th verse and go through the 31st verse. Amen. Again, that's Isaiah 40, verses 28 through 31. Oh, yeah. And in the language of the King James Version, it reads as follows. Has thou not known, <clears throat> and has thou not heard? Well that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the end of the earth, he fainteth not, neither Lord. is he weary. Yes, sir. There is no searching of his understanding. Well, Lord. He giveth power to the faint, mm -hmm. and to them that have no might, he increases yes. strength. Yes, sir. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. Yes. yes. And the young men shall utterly fail. Yes, sir. But they that wait on the Lord, yes, wait, wait on wait. Shall renew their strength. Yes, sir. They yes, shall sir. mount up with wings as yes, eagles, yes, and they shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk 
and not vain. Well, Lord, and this is the word of God for the people of God. Yeah, yeah. Well, well. Lift him up, bro. Lift him up, bro. Come on. 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 Well, from which cometh from my help? help. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, my help cometh from the Lord. Let us bow. Come on. Eternal God, our Father. Yes. We come on this day thanking you. Thank you, Lord. Because we've been in the midst of anniversaries. Well, well. We've had church anniversaries. We had 911 anniversaries. Mm. And oh God, you're so good and so kind. You allowed us to come out one more time. Yes, sir. Thank and give you. praises to your name. Well, well. We thank you for what you've already done. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for all the things you're going to do. Because we realize, oh God, we can't do nothing without you. Oh, mm. Lord. Our Father, as we approach you, we pray today. want to ask you to forgive us. Please, Lord. Please, Lord. Please. Because we've really done things we ought not to have done. Well, we've well. even said things we ought not to have said. That's, that's right. That's and right. we've been silent when we could have witnessed you. Well, Lord, well, Lord. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Up, Maurice. Touch, Touch our hearts. Yes, sir. Yes. Touch our minds. Yes. Yes. Created us a new spirit. Yes, yes. 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 spirit yes. to live for you. Well. Oh, Lord, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir. Things seen and unseen, mm. we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Now, Lord. We want to be brought into submission that we be more humble mm -hmm. and obedient Help to your will. Because right. right. yes, right. we don't have a way, but we know you got the way. Well, Lord. And you are the truth and the life. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 Oh, yes. That's so right. as we move forward, oh God, bless those who are striking today. Please. All right. Bless those companies that are holding out today. My Lord. Bless, bless Lord. those CEOs bless and those people Look who, on, Lord. You who know. refuse to yes, touch them up today, oh God. Please, sir. Even bless our bads today. Oh God, we love you. And we know that you've been so kind. Been mighty good. Yeah. So we're gonna just say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. For it is in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.
is glory to his name. Amen. Glory, glory. Glory to his name. Amen. You know that, but I'll be feeding you the words as well. Right. But let's sing this song like we've never sang it before. All right. Because it is glory, glory. to his name. Down at the cross where my Savior died. Yes, Down at the cross where my Savior died. Down from cleansing from sin. share in in this worship uh, on today. Uh, let us together prepare to do the model prayer. Amen. Let us say the prayer together. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our pulpit scripture for this morning is coming from the gospel according to Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. In the language of the King James Version, it sounds like this. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. The word of God for the people of God. Amen. At this time, we'll have our congregational song, and then we'll be led in our altar prayer. Amen. 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 We're not going to sing, Pass Me Not, O Gentle Savior. Pass me not, O oh gentle Savior, hear my humble cry. Why?
church say amen. 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 We thank and praise God for this opportunity that we have to be here on today. We're so thankful and we're so thankful for those that are sharing with us as we worship in spirit and in truth. As we bring this worship to you, we thank God. As I can't say it enough for the work that Sister Carol Taylor as well as Brother Lawrence were doing. We're so thankful for those of you that have opportunity to come out and share with us even in the midst of this pandemic. Uh, We're grateful for those first timers that we have in the house with us on today. We have our own sister Bernardo who's with us on today. Amen. As well as Sister Gillison who's with us on today. And Sister Hawkins who's with us on today. Amen. We have some of our regulars that are with us all the time. Sister Dennis. 
as well as Sister Lockhart is with us, and Brother Brayboy and Brother Collins, yeah. and our own Sister Powell, who is here. This is the first time she ever had a, a badge on today. Amen. I think she dressed for us and the anniversary day. <laughs> so she, she suited up and still a uniform up on today. <laughs> But we're so thankful for each and every one of you that are sharing with us uh, on today. And, of course, we give respect and honor to our pastor emeritus, Dr. Felker, who's with us, as, as who's been with us as well as Sister Shirley Felker. I'm so grateful and excited the fact that Sister Jones is back with us. I'm thankful for that. And, uh, and I'm thankful that we have opportunity to worship uh, even in these conditions. And we have to be mindful of the conditions in which we worship. Right. Uh, these conditions have changed the way we live. Uh -huh. They changed the way we worship. They even changed the way we look. Uh -huh. I mean, I know, I know, I know that my mask don't match my, match my suit. I know that the strings is coming around my ears. I get all of that, but I want to live, right. and I want to make sure that you live too. Amen. And so, whatever it takes for us to maintain a level of safety. That's what we have to do. It's a new normal. And we want to make absolutely sure we can't be ashamed of the new normal that we are in every, as we live our lives. Amen? There is a word from the Lord that I want to share with you today. It comes from Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. Those of you that have your Bibles, if you turn with me to uh, scroll your electronic device to Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. And while you're turning and getting that together, how about that choir that Sister Carol put together for us? Amen. Amen. That was fantastic. Amen. Amen. I found myself looking around. I said, man, I felt like I was upstairs. Amen. Amen. We thank God for that. And then, and then our own Deacon Hawkins went on, I mean, De Deacon Fickers went on and made us altar prayer. Mm. Had me looking around, seeing folk was holding hands. Ah. I said, he took us there. I said, that's yes, what he said. He said, you just sanctify the imagination. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We thank God for that. Matthew chapter 4, verse 4, the King James Version, it sounds like this. But he answered and said, it is written, uh -huh. man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Amen. The word of God for the people of God. You know, it goes without saying, our deacons who are always on staff and our trustees who are always available making sure that we get done when we get done here at the church. And I never take you all for granted because you're here. And when nobody else is here, you're here. And I thank God for that. And if we ain't got no women to help us out, we have a good male cause. We call it the deacon cause. <laughs> Amen. And we're grateful for that. Amen. Oh, yeah. And the uh, title of today's lesson is The Words of Life That Come From God. The Words of Life That Come From God. Now, brothers and sisters, Jesus had just finished being baptized by his cousin, John the Baptizer, in Matthew chapter 3, verses 13 through 16. And it sounded like this. He says, Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to the Jordan unto John to be baptized of him. But John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee, and comest thou to me? And Jesus answered and said unto him, Suffer it to be so now, for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he suffered him. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water. And lo, the heavens were opened up to, unto him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, yes, in whom I am well pleased. But now we find ourselves in Matthew chapter 4, which is now Jesus having Jesus in the wilderness of the desert, where he is tempted by Satan. Now, Jesus had just finished a period of fasting. As a matter of fact, 40 days when Satan approaches him. Now, brothers and sisters, first of all, this removes all doubt as to the knowledge capabilities of Satan. Okay, Satan is not omniscient. Satan does not know everything. Because if he did, he would understand that fasting makes you spiritually stronger, even though you may be physically weak. Uh, however, Satan attacks Jesus with temptation, not when Jesus is at his weakest, but when Jesus is at his strongest. I wonder if you hear what I'm saying today. Satan starts off by attacking the reality 
uh, of Jesus. Uh -huh. He says in the B clause of verse 3, he says, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. Yes. Jesus responds with the words that builds my message for today, where he says, Man shall not live by bread alone, well, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Yes, sir. Now, brothers and sisters, it becomes important for us to understand today that Jesus said that we should not live by bread alone, mm -hmm. right. which says to us that we do need bread. Uh -huh. Amen. I want you to hear what I'm saying today. Yeah. Amen. We may not live by bread alone, but it's important to understand that we do need bread. Uh, there are some things in life that we do need. We need shelter. We need clothes. We need transportation. We need physical and mental nourishment. We need finances. We need employment. And we need recreation of some sort. Everybody can't ride a bike like uh, like, like Deacon. <laughs> like Deacon Ricks and Carol. Everybody don't ride their bike every day like that. But we need some kind of recreation. Okay? I wonder if you hear what I'm saying today. We, we, we need each other. Yes, yes, we do need bread. We need these things to live, brothers and sisters, but we do not live on bread alone. We do live on these things, but we don't live by bread alone. Jesus says we live on the words that proceed out of the mouth of God. Now, I do like the beauty of the King James Version when it says by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Amen. Amen. So, so what are some of those words? What are some of those words that come from God? Well, affection and love are some of those words. Those are the building blocks of family, brothers and sisters, affection and love. What else? You got forgiveness. Forgiveness not only from God, but forgiveness from each other. I wonder if you hear what I'm saying today. But not only that, another word that comes from God is faith. And that is to trust what you cannot see, to trust what you can't understand, to trust the provisions and the protection of God, and to, pr the tr to have faith in the potential within yourselves, as well as the potential that's in others. Well, well, well. Now you see, brothers and sisters, as humanity, that's you and me, we need bread to live. But we do not live by bread alone. Okay? We live by affection from God. And that he looked beyond our faults. And he saw our needs. We live by the love from God. And that he loves us to the point where he gave his only son to die in our place for our sins. You see, that there, there's a group of singers years ago, and I'm sorry to have to use this as an example because everybody liked the song. You know, there's a group of singers called the O'Neill Twins, mm -hmm. and they had a famous song called Jesus Drop the Charges. Uh -huh. And you know, and that's a beautiful song, but that song is theologically incorrect. Yes, right. Because you see, you see, Jesus did not drop the charges. Okay? The case was not dismissed. The case was not thrown out of court. The, 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 the law said that we were supposed to die. Yeah. And right when it was time for us to die, Jesus said, I'll die for you. Yeah. And so the law was satisfied. The law says, I got my death. Yeah. And then we know what happened on after that, right? On the morning of the third day, which was the first day that we, Jesus got up yeah. and declared all power. So it's important for us to understand that we need that love from God, but we also live by the forgiveness from God well, all right, all in right. that while we were not even deserving to have our souls saved, brothers and sisters, let alone be alive today, he forgives us. Forgive us. Even when we do not forgive each other, uh -huh. he forgives us. And he gives us another chance as we forgive. You didn't hear that. I'm going to repeat that point. Since well, I didn't well, hear that, well, I'm going to repeat that one more time. He forgives us. We get forgiveness from God. In that while we were not even deserving to have our souls saved, let alone be alive today, God forgives us. And not only that, he forgives us even when we don't forgive each other. Let that marinate for a minute. He forgives us and he gives us another chance to forgive as he forgives. I don't know about you, brothers and sisters, but my mama told me every tub has to stand on his own body. Right. You know, and, I, and, and I'm just here to tell you today that the, the, the Bible is right. When the Bible says that when we ask God in the model prayer, 
Forgive us our trespasses uh -huh. as we forgive those who trespass against us. Well, in other words, Lord, forgive me uh -huh. as I forgive Brother Ware. Uh -huh. let, me, let, me tell you, let me tell you the antithesis of that. What you're saying to God, God, if I don't forgive Brother Ware, don't forgive me. Yes, sir. I, I, I wonder if you hear what I'm saying today. Yes, you know, I don't write it. I just preach it. All right. All right okay, all right. Now, now, also, the, the, we live by our faith. Uh -huh. Brothers and sisters, our faith, not just to trust. But to know that because the word of God says, if I believe in my heart the Lord Jesus uh -huh. and confess with my mouth that God has raised him from the dead, I shall be saved. Now, now, once I'm saved, I will always be saved. Okay, you cannot lose your salvation. It's not a matter of whether you lose your salvation or not. It's a matter of whether you were saved in the first place. I want you to hear what I'm saying today. Because you see, I want you to know something. And if this wasn't in the pandemic, I would use one of my dickens for an example. But let me tell you, it's kind of like this. You take this handkerchief right here, and if this is you, and, and if this is you, you confess a hope in Christ as your personal Savior, you're in the hands of God. And then not only that, God has enabled you to go into the hands of Jesus. So now you're in the hands of Jesus and God. But then not only that, you are sealed by the Holy Ghost. And you are sealed and you are wrapped up and you are saved. And guess what? Satan can't even go in there and get you. Because if Satan goes in there and get you, he'll get converted himself. Because the Bible says if any man be in Christ, he becomes a new creature. All things are passed away. All things become new. Thanks be to God. I'm saved because I'm in the hands of God the Father. I'm saved because I'm in the hands of God the Son. I'm saved because I'm sealed by God the Holy Spirit. When do you hear what I'm saying today? Thanks be to God. I can say that I live because he lives. He lives. He lives. Christ Jesus lives today. Oh, yeah, I'm done now. I'm done now. That's it. He walks with me. And he talks with me. A long life, narrow way. He lives. He lives. Salvation to him. You ask me how I know he lives? He lives within my heart. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Thank you, Lord, for dying for me. Thank you, Lord, Thank you, Lord, for sustaining me. Thank you, Lord, for all that you've done. Let us be sure that we live the words of life that come from God. Man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. We're going to extend the invitation at this time. There may be someone here who needs to come. There may be someone here who wants to come. I want you to know just as Brother Ricks is placing that chair out, that chair is for you. That chair is for you. You can come just as you are. How can you come? You can accept Christ as your personal Savior. Or you can come back to Jesus. There's a number on the screen, 312-225-0510. You call that number, and we'll talk to you about the plan of salvation. Or we'll talk to you about coming back to Jesus. If you're here today, even if you're in this room, we don't take for granted. There may be someone under the sound of my voice. We want you to know that this chair is here for you. We want you to know that you can come, as my pastor used to say, you can come filthy, you can come guilty. But just come just as you are. Okay, he'll take you just as you are. As you come today, as we sing, come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Won't you come today? Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. for baptism, Christian experience, or by letter. Don't put off for no tomorrow or for next time or for next week. What you can do right now. Won't you come? He is able. He is able. Won't you come today? Don't put off for tomorrow or for next time what you can do right now. Jesus said in his word, the day that you hear my voice. Pardon not your heart. We want you to know that you can come. All you got to do is call that number. You can call that number anytime. And if we get the message, we'll call you back. But we're here now for you to put it all in his hands today. If you're here, I want you to come today. This invitation is for you to come just as you are. To come today. Why don't you come today? This invitation is for you to come. Won't you trust him today? Won't you trust him today? Won't you trust him today?
though none have chosen to come, there's yet room. And not only is there room, but there are opportunities for witnessing. Right. Now, Carmel, let's work to make that a reality. Amen. 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 God bless you. May God keep you. At this time, we're going to have a 75th church anniversary Amen. announcement. Amen. Coming from uh, Deacon Irby. And then following that, I'll come right back behind you. Okay, my Carmel, I come before you today with the uh, announcement slash update. On our 75th, our 75th anniversary. Yes, sir. And it's approaching, it's approaching quickly, and we're asking you all to share in our church's anniversary activities. The theme for this year's anniversary is the church built on the solid foundation and surviving the storm. Well, that's from Matthew 7, verse 24 through 27. And starting with the revival service on Friday, October the 9th, we're going to have uh, Reverend Dr. Darius Colvin to bring our message at 7 p.m. It's going to be virtually, and then our praise team will be loading up praises and song. Amen. On Saturday, October the 10th, we're going to have an anniversary parade, and it's going to be from 10 to 11 a.m. And treats and gifts will be for all. We also will have a contest for the best decorated cars. Uh, We're going to have a first, second, and a third place. And on Sunday, October 11th, we're going to have our very own Dr. Joseph B. Felton. We'll bring our anniversary Amen. message Amen. with music from our angelic choir. Members, remember, we're asking that you prepare to give $1 for each historical year. Yes, sir. That's a total of $75. Well, well, and you can give it through our Give a Fire app, or you can send in a money order, or bring in a cash gift. And remember that any amount, large or small, will be appreciated. We know how to support our church finally, financially, and thank you in advance for your participation on every level. Amen. 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 Good job, Thank you, Deacon Irby. I also want to just uh, continue to say that, uh, you know, you don't pay attention to the, the days that go by, but you know there's just 26 days before we'll begin our church anniversary. 26 days. Man, it sounds a whole lot closer when you think of it like that, right? <laughs> you know, this week, members, you'll be receiving a letter informing you of all of these plans, many of the plans that uh, Deacon Irby has just mentioned to you. And you definitely have a role to play. Brothers and sisters, first of all, you can begin by meditating on the anniversary theme in Scripture. The church is built on a solid foundation and surviving yes, the storm. Yes, I mean, that's something in the midst of this pandemic, in the midst yes, of this civil yes. unrest, that we need to meditate on and let the passage of Scripture of Matthew chapter 7, verses 20 through, 24 through 27 permeate and go through us. Let that living word, because this is our anniversary. Yes. Begin to pray for our anniversary celebration. And pray daily for your church right. and your church family. Amen. Uh, our chairperson, uh, Sister Carita Taylor, is asking that when you receive the letter, that you write an inspirational message to the church family. It's going to be, and you can include it in the self-addressed stamped envelope that's going to be provided. Send it back to the church along with your gift for the anniversary if you want to mail your gift back to us. Also, they're asking for historical photos. And this is the last call, and we're trying to get this done as quick as we can for historical photos from you. As Brother Ware would say, he wants a picture of me when I had an afro. That's how far back he wants it to go. Okay, so that's how far back your pictures need to go. Go back to when that hair was brown, dark brown. Come on. Now, man, uh, go, you know, uh, go back when you was a six, okay? Somebody ain't gonna get that to next week. I'm gonna leave that alone. Okay, but they're historical photos and make, cer make certain that you send one or two of those pictures to our own brother Lawrence Ware. And the email address is lware at att.net. And he's putting together a special presentation for the anniversary. And, of course, from all of us, we thank you so much in advance. And we're looking forward to our anniversary because it is our anniversary. Yes, Amen. 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 At this time, we'll have our offertory. Amen. 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 Praise God, praise God from whom all blessings flow. As in Pastor's message, it say, Man shall not live 
by bread alone, mm. but every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. One word that has proceeded out of the mouth of God is bring your tithes to the church that we may have meat. And that meat is these lights, this gas, this virtual viewing, everything of that nature. So with that being said, we must bring our tithes so that we can keep on going and be obedient to God's word. Amen? Amen. Amen. Just for a second, um, I just want to say thank you to two of my black living heroes, my dad and my uncle. And it, it's, it's a financial thing. I called on them one time and I asked them to do something that I needed to, to help me do something that needed to be done. One time I asked and I received. They're my two nonsense guys. My dad, Milton Taylor, and my uncle, Shedrick Ricks, play no game. If I was doing something contrary to the word, to the, to the word of God, ain't no way. They chastised, but they reached out and they came humbly and assist. And I thank them for that. I give a man his flowers while they still living, yet that they may be able to smell them themselves. Dear Heavenly Father, we come this morning to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for all that you've done and all that you will do, Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Continue to keep us, Lord, in your hollow hands, Lord. Lord. Help us to just continue to do better and live better and righteous in your eyesight. Remove us, Lord, and place yourself within. Lord, we come asking that you would pray. Every heart that hasn't come up to tide yet, give them the mindset and the understanding that that 10% that they give to the church, it can't beat the 90 that you give back. Lord, the money ain't for the pastor. The money is for the church, and it's your word that has to be done. Please, Lord, continue to just help us to grow as a family and do more for each other. Continue, Lord just to love us and own us as thy own. We need you. We can't get along oh, without yeah, you. And we just ask you for strength and yes, teaching us how to give. I thank you, Lord, that I had a mother and a dad that taught me how to tie a long time ago. Well, it's been grateful. I ain't mad that I got to give God my money. The Lord loves a cheerful giver. Yeah. And he's sure when he gives back when you need him. Mm-hmm. He's always there. He might not come when you want him to, but he's always on the time. And we got to just thank you for it, Lord. Thank you for being God and God all by yourself. We love you, we praise you, and we need you forevermore in our life. This is our prayer in the name of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we pray and say, Amen. 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 Yes, he is. Amen. God bless you. God bless you, Zika. God bless you. I tried it, James. I tried it. Showed up. Yes, I did. Brothers and sisters, I just want to say thank you to the members of Mount Carmel for viewing and for your support of your church. Thank you to our friends and family for sharing with us on Sundays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. If you've been blessed and helped by the ministries that we're bringing to you via our ministry leaders, please let us know with your words with your gifts of support. I want to say thank you to those family and friends of Mount Carmel who have given a gift of support. Brothers and sisters, in the state of Illinois, according to the Chicago Tribune, there's been 2,121 new cases of COVID-19 since yesterday, and 22 new deaths. Brothers and sisters, this thing is real. There's still much work to be done. Man. Please don't forget to vote. Yeah. If you're going to vote, if you're going to vote by mail, make sure you do what you need to do to get your ballot and to get your mail in. Mm-hmm. I would suggest taking it to the post office. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. having someone take it directly for you if you can't take it yourself. Yes, sir. And uh, there's a new thing that's coming out, so also be careful. Make sure that you're not in too big of a hurry as you sign your ballot. Yeah. Because now the, the, the new the new discrepancy is trying to say that your signature 
Your current signature don't, mess, don't match up with your previous signature. Oh, Amen. The devil is busy. Right. Amen. Right. Yes, sir. And make sure you read your ballot because sometimes it says black or blue ink. And they're going to use every situation they okay. can to discredit that, our That vote. becomes very, very important. For right. those of you that did not hear what uh, Deacon Rick said, that uh, make sure you check your ballot and make sure if you're going to complete it. If it calls for blue ink, use blue ink. If it calls for black ink, use black ink. Yes, because if you don't use the proper ink color, they can also discredit your ballot. Uh, it's a shame that we're in 2020, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, next thing you know, they'll be asking us how many marbles is in the jar. Uh, amen. They're not going to use jelly beans. They did that one already. They're, just, they're going to upgrade it to marbles or something. It's just unbelievable, brothers and sisters. Now, 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 and also now, if you're going in person, because many people will go in person to vote, make sure you check your polling place and make sure that your polling place address hasn't changed. Okay? I want to just say a shout out to the INA, Illinois Nurses Association, as they began their seven day strike on this past Saturday. We'll continue to pray for them. I want to piggyback off as he's dropping on Deacon Hawkins prayer. And he said, not only, Lord, God, those, the, the nurses, but God, the administrative people as well. Yeah. Okay. I also want to say a shout out to SEIU Local 73, who will begin their strike on Monday. Mm -hmm. Okay. We want to be prayerful and supportive for a positive outcome for all. Amen. Remember, brothers and sisters, everyone in Illinois should pay their fair share in taxes. That's right. There's a lot of money being spent to get you to vote no. The question is why? I'll let you think about that. Check those websites and read that information. Google, get your phones and Google Illinois flat tax. Google proposed flat tax amendment. Find out what's going on and how it affects you and where you fit in the midst of all of this. Mount Carmel will be hosting a pop-up COVID-19 free testing site on Saturday, September 26, 2020. The time will be announced. And as always, brothers and sisters, mask up and live. Well, and I want to say happy birthday to those whose birthdays are today as well as this week. Man. And remember, brothers and sisters, social distancing is not antisocial behavior. Well, Amen. Let us stand at this time for the benediction. <laughs> Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forevermore. Until we all should meet again, let us all say amen. 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 God bless you.